I want to give y'all this update real quick. I want to give y'all this update. Um, and I don't want to like, you know what I'm saying? Keep dragging sh or keep talking about it. That After I um, that explain moving, oh real God. quick what's going on. Damn, son. You know what I'm saying? So look, um, y'all know, <clears throat> y'all know I'll be catching like a lot of flights and like, just, like to go shoot recordings and stuff like that. And a whole bunch of shit. Um, and for those you don't know, if you follow me either on Snap or IG, I do be posting a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I'm going here, I'm going there. You know what I'm saying? And stuff like that. Um, for those of you who know, I've been on a sick streak. I've never been on this streak so long. Like, it's insane. I've been on a sick streak, I feel like. I feel like ever since, like, the first time I got, like, crazy kind of sick, like, somewhat, like, it wasn't normal to me, was when we went to Nigeria. Shout out to all my Nigerians in a chat. Ray, in the chat talking shit. Ray, um, when we was in Nigeria, and, and the lady fucked me up. And then ever since then, since that point, I hit the pollen season, and that hit me up. You know what I'm saying? And then I went to the UK, and I didn't know they hay fever, which is pollen, pretty much. Oh, I need that soundboard. This should, this should sound like a baby to that. Like, hold on, hold on. Let me bring that back, bro. Because that, that was a crazy boom, chat. That was a crazy boom. Hold on. And then ever since then, since that point, hear that? I hit yeah. the pollen that season, kinda... and that hit me up. You know what I'm saying? And then I went to the UK and I didn't know they hay fever, which is pollen, pretty much the same. Is even worse in the US, and that was and that me up. Um, and then like I got like I couldn't hear out my ear for like five days, and I had to like depressurize this, congested, and a whole bunch of bull. And I get back to the US, still calm for like three days, and then I flew from New York to ATL every day for like six days straight, low key, and all that. Six days straight? Damn. I, I know you got it like that, but maybe I just take too long in my, my airplane process, but going back and forth between New York and that, that that's that's what, like a three, four hour flight? You got to go through TSA every single fucking time? And an Uber, in and out? Like, that's a lot of traveling, bro. Flight, I guess, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm just giving you the, the context behind everything. You said insane carbon footprint. <laughs> Before we really get into it. Um, cause I have flew back for something that I can't talk about to ATL. Then came back to New York. Then did something here in NYC downtown, which I can't talk about that either, but y'all see it soon. No, <laughs> uh, and then I left that same day, uh, to go do, um, KC told me to come through for Kevin Hart, the Drewski stream. Uh, uh, Ben was on there, Duke, you know what I'm saying? That was a W stream. That was a W stream. No cap. That was a W stream. You know what I'm saying? So we flew over there. Right, we flew over there. We Damn, yo, yo, Phantom Mike got the best soundboard in the game, bro. What the fuck? What shit sounds ass compared to that? <laughs> I, 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 I like that. I like the ambiance of this fucking applause, bro. Damn. Did that, and then I had came back, um, and I was moving shit around, dealing my boy, www facts. Now everything, Sitchy, I ain't gonna lie, but let's let's get into it. Um, and then I got, I want to go get tatted. You know what I'm saying? I had an like, appointment I've been had for like two, three months. Now, this way it get kind of heavy, child. I ain't going to lie. getting kind of crazy. So, my session was going to be like a three, four day session. And I decided to like, they told me like, yo, you can go under and you go like take anesthesia and you go under for like, I don't know how long it is. I think it's like eight hours or some shit. Damn. And you finish it all and it's like a normal thing. Niggas be doing that shit. Boom. So, I'm like, all right, you bet. That's calm. I did it. Nothing eight was crazy. Hours. You feel me? In my opinion, I think everything was smooth. I wake up, I get my shit done. Y'all gonna see as soon as on my chest and shit. You know I got a lot of tats. I don't really show my tats, but my whole back is tatted. Um, here. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know this, and then here now too. Um, long story short, um, I wake up normal. Everything I think is fine. Um, and if if I get a tat though, I can't lie. I'm I'm gonna get it where it's visible. I feel like getting a tat that's like hidden most of the time. I feel like that's some shit you do once you get like the visibles out the way. You know what I'm saying? If, and, and you're really into it. But I, I mean, it's eight hours, chat. So I'm hungry as fuck. And I'm starving. I ain't gonna lie, chat. Um, and this is where like now we could really slow down the story and really, because this is I don't want to. You once again, I don't want to. This is not like a that something for me to booming. extend or make it make it bigger than what it is. That you know what I'm saying? It, it was, it's a very serious thing. But I didn't want to like that was never my intentions. I know like the tweet. I had made a tweet. And it was crazy because the tweet was specifically for the truth. It just happened to hit like major blogs and shit like that. And shout out to y'all. But that's why I put in the tweet 10 hours stream tomorrow. So shout out, you know what I'm saying? It, whatever. Point is, I wake up. 
And I'm a little dazed, of course, you know what I'm saying? Um, I've been under anesthesia before when I did my uh, my wisdom teeth or whatever. It's, I, it's nothing crazy. I go to the crib. When I go to the crib chat, for some reason, I decide to order four burgers. What the? Phantom. Phantom. Yeah. Four? Four. Come on, bro. Four is crazy. And, and, and mind you, this is coming from a fellow big back guy too, bro. So I, I, I know big back activities. But four for just you? Nah, bro. Nah, gang. I don't know what possessed me to order four fucking burgers, bro. But I did. And I know that was through DoorDash too, bro. I know the hell fit him. I know that was through DoorDash too. So you went on DoorDash. Unlock your phone. This, this, hey, chat, this is how the process went. Right? Pick up your phone, boom. Unlock, face ID. DoorDash. You have to look for the restaurant you wanted the burgers from. Find it. Add it to your cart. Hold on. Find it. Add it to your cart. And you know, fill, fill out fill out the bubbles and shit like that. You gotta look at how much you wanna how much you wanna tip, all of that. There's a there's a big ass process to buying four burgers, bro. Nah, <laughs> nah, bro. Then I order two big ass fucking fries, chat like the hugest shit ever. Like this, some big. Ass what the yo? What that shit, gang? Then I get two extra large lemonades. I'm wilding, chat. What am I? <laughs> yo, what the fuck, bro? Not that I'm bugging the fuck out, chat. You know what I'm saying? And like I'm mad hungry, and it's funny, but it's not funny, but it's funny. I ain't gonna lie, it's funny, but it's not funny, but it's funny. Like, and I knock down my two burgers mad fast. I leave two for later. I knock down the fries and I go 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 with the lemonade. Stop the tune, stop the tunes. <laughs> I, I like knock it down and like work like record time. It had to It ain't funny, but it's funny, bro. <laughs> be like six minutes tops. I was so hungry. I was starving, chat. Um, and, and I know I'm wild, I'm wild, I'm wild. But it's true, though. And I didn't even let my body, like, digest the food. Like, I didn't even let my body digest the fucking food, bro. So I go, and I did some dickhead shit, and I went straight to bed. I went straight, I went, lay down. Whoop, lay down, right, chat? Mm -hmm. I lay down, and it's like 11 p.m. now, right? I'm trying to um I'm trying to sleep and I keep waking up every two hours. And like I keep getting like um what's that shit called? Acid reflex. Like acid keep coming up, bro. And I'm like, nigga, like what the fuck? Like reflex? it keep like I'm like, bro. And reflex? it's like pissing me off. And like I keep like it's like uncomfortable. <laughs> My full chat. And I keep waking up every two hours and go back to sleep. I go every two hours and go back to sleep. You know what I'm saying? And then I I, I think I had a long streak from like 5 a.m. to not to 8 30 a.m. around there. While I was able to sleep like three hours. Then I wake up and I think I'm fine. I think everything's good, right, chat? The feel somebody said that the fool was fighting back. Yo, be nature. Brother Nature, appreciate the gift you gave. So, anyways, long story. Brother short, Nature. Bro, now it's like 8, 9 30 in the morning. I get some oatmeal, chat. Bananas, like this, is probably the healthiest meal I had the whole week, gang. Eh? It's like this is this is like this is what made me laugh, like at w myself. W like, w I take a bite of the oatmeal chat, and it felt like an elephant came and just sat on my chest. Oh my out god! Out of nowhere, I'm like, what the fuck, bro? Oh my god! Then after that, it was like a nigga grab and felt him having the Undertaker music. While telling this story of how like he almost died, it's crazy work. Like somebody grabbed my heart, trying to pull it out. I'm like, word to my mother, chat. And I'm thinking like, okay, that's one, two, three times, four times, five times, six times. I'm panicking now. I ain't gonna lie. I'm in an apartment by myself. No, like nobody was with me. I'm by myself. And I'm I'm panicking, like no funny shit. Like real shit though. I'm doing this though, like like all jokes aside, like, let's, let's get into serious mode. Let's really lock in real quick, chat. Serious mode, like no more funny joking shit. Like dead ass. Like 35, almost 40 minutes of me doing this, gang. 
And I'm like, you know, I'm a, I'm like one of them niggas that I find humor in everything. I'm really thinking like, this is crazy. I survived the Bronx. I survived my childhood. I survived like random bullets. This is how I go out. This uh, is how I, this is this is this is how I die. Like I'm over here like laughing, but it's it's I'm in mad pain though. And I grab my phone and like I'm from like I don't know what it is, bro. I don't know if it's the way we 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 like was raised and shit. But like I, I don't like hospitals, gang. I'm gonna keep it above. I don't like hospitals, bro. Yeah. But I'm about to call 911 and open my door and put the little um the light. I go lie, bro. In situations like this, again, it sounds fucked up. But I'm calling my mom first. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, unless it's like, yo, I, I really need help, help, help. Like, like now, now. If I could hold off for like five more minutes, seven, like I'm, I'm calling my mom first. I'm calling my dad first. The way my living situation is right now, I'm probably calling Bree first. Before I call 911, bro. And, and maybe that's, that probably shouldn't be what I'm doing. Also, them hospital bills ain't. Them hospital bills are no joke, bro. I ain't gonna lie, this this is not even some human shit. We had to take Buzz to um, I what you call it, uh, a urgent care vet. We don't got we don't got pet insurance, y'all. Uh, luckily, you know, I make I make what I make, but bro, just just because he had uh blood in his stool, bro, and we, we was worried, we got the estimate. I'm like. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not. I'm not taking chances. I'm not taking chances at, the, at this. Fuck it. Let's let's get him what he needs, bro. That shit was. Let's just say it was over five hundred dollars. All right. And it was closer to to, to four figures than the, what 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 I liked it to be, bro. Like, god damn, bro. And 24, 24 hours later, chat. He's actually all fine now, so he's good. And me and Bree are just saying, saying to ourselves in our head, the medication was just acting fast, bro. Like, no, no way, bro. No way. Like, nah, bro. Vet bills make you question if you really love your pet. Head ass. Nah, bro. I, th I think we're gonna get pet insurance though, cause nah, bro. Nine, nine, nine hundred. Oh, I just said it. It was nine hundred, bro. It was fucking nine hundred for. What is it? Um. A probiotic, um, some special food they gave us, uh, some other uh, a dewormer, and then they they shot fluids into him in in case he needed he needed to be hydrated and obviously the whole procedure of, I right, let's check him out, bro like, huh, that shit was crazy. Nevertheless, nevertheless, that's why. Like, yeah, nah. I, I, I'd call my mom and, and my, my, my people first. Lock on it. So if I do pass out in the crib, it's just easy access to me. You feel me? So I'm like, you know, I'm just trying to wait it out, bro. I'm being a dickhead, a toxic. What's that shit called? Toxic masculinity. What the fuck that shit's called? I'm being stupid. Like, I should have been went to the spittle right there. And I did it. I'm just waiting, like, just trying to, trying to, like, trying to, like, hold it out. Like, like hopefully the pain leave. Because it felt like a... A long heartburn. It just felt like a long ass heartburn. The pain was ten out of ten. So, anyways, it finally passes through. My dumb ass gets on WebMD. This is what that's a mistake. Mm -mm, that's a mistake. Ain't gonna lie, even even with my dog situation, bro. Bree got to pet MD or whatever the fuck. She she just looks it up on the internet, and she was psyching herself out in terms of like talking about oh blood blood in your dog stool might mean. Oh, you might have to put him down because he has this condition. And I'm like, oh, yo, put that shit away. We're going to the vet tomorrow. We're going to get that shit checked. It's probably just an infection because he's acting fine regardless outside of that pooping shit. And we're good, bro. We're good. You're straight. WebMD is, nah, bro, nah. Where, like, shit start going left. I get on WebMD. Now I'm on WebMD and everything I search up, I got it. I got that shit. I got that. I got my my dad has that problem too, bro. Like, whenever, whenever he feels something, looks that shit up on the internet, and he psychs himself out, bro. That shit too. I'm googling shit, nigga. So I'm writing in what I feel, and everything I see, I'm like, I got that. I might got. I think I got this too. I'm panicked. I'm like, like it's like, I'm fucking up my own head, bro. 
So I'm like, damn, bro. Like, and I'm by myself. I'm not calling nobody like a dickhead. So, you know, like two, three hours pass. I start calming down, calming down. Um, but it, I, the pain is still there in my chest. It's, it's, it's a heavy pain. It's not when, like, it's not 10 out of 10, like when it was happening for those 40 minutes. But it's more like a 5 out of 10 now. Boy, like, not nah, like a 6 out of 10. So it's like it's there. Like, it's like there, you know? So anyway, fast I'm forward some right. more chat. Um, the next day comes. Next day. And I start noticing that I'm like delirious. Like, is that the word? Like, I'm like, I got the days messed up and shit. Like, I think it's Thursday, but it's Wednesday. Like, I'm fucked up. I got to go to Cali. I got to go Whoa. do some shit. Um, I had a... Now that's crazy. Getting your days mixed up is crazy. I ain't going Big opportunity that I had to miss out. Six-figure bag, chat. No cap. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are... We should we should have a a, a pocket watching sound chat. Wait, hold on, let me see. We need we need a pocket watching soundboard, man. What's the deal or no deal music, man? Six figure bag. I had to, like, I had to really catch myself and say, "Gang, you almost yo W gifties." Um, shout to shout to Tariq twenty two. All right, gang, gang. So like, I'm thinking like, you gotta Phantom, you gotta fake slow down a little bit because you move it too much now. Like you almost. We don't know what happened in that in that apartment when you was by yourself. Cause I I'm not a doctor. I really can't diagnose myself. But I'm like, you gotta catch this flight. You know what I'm saying? Honey buns. You know what I'm saying? Like six figure up shit. You gotta catch that flight, gang. And in that moment, I'm like, yo, bro, like, I, you can't. It don't matter if they if if niggas would have threw me a billion dollars, gang. If you die, you can't put the money to use at all so you can't get on that flight gang yeah that's that's what my mom tells me all the time which is, which is sad because i ain't gonna lie like she all, all my shit is public and she knows i'm out of shape my health is not on point too but she always tells me like yo i understand you're making good money right now but take care of your health go to your checkups regularly exercise go out the the i ain't gonna lie bro the tough shit about being fat and trying to lose weight is you know exactly what the fuck to do it's just because of the habits you built up, you just can't build up the consistency to build the right habits because your habits are so fucking ingrained. Like, I'm, I'm telling y'all right now, I know exactly what I need to do to lose weight. I know, I know, I know calorie counting. I know exactly how to find my maintenance calories, how much I need to be under that, how much I need to eat, all of that, bro. But it's the... Motive, not not necessarily motive. It, it's the de developing the discipline and consistency and sticking to it. That's the hardest part about all, uh, about all of this. It's the hardest part about all of this. There, there's so many different factors that can just draw you back into where the fuck you started. I'm I'm be honest with y'all. I was on a streak with the carnivore diet. I've been slacking the, the, these last like week and a half, bro. I'm gonna keep it a whole stack with y'all. I am honestly disappointed with myself. Um. But yeah, I, I gotta get back into it. I gotta get back into it, bro. But it's it's just tough, bro. That's that's the most annoying part about being a fat dude, bro. Is you know exactly what the fuck you need to do. And also, Jade's that too. Food be good, man. Food be good, bro. Y'all ever gone to Ruth's Chris? You know what I'm saying? Like. Bro, y'all ever had five guys? Chick-fil-A premium deluxe sandwich with 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 pepper jack cheese, lettuce, tomato, Chick-fil-A sauce on the side, bro. Y'all ever had gong cha boba tea? Dirty brown sugar milk tea? Come on, gang. And especially when you get to a point like Phantom is at, where, like, you can afford to DoorDash whenever the fuck you want. You can afford whatever food you... You can go to a grocery store and just don't even look at prices. Just get what the fuck you need. Like, that, that, that is something that, like... You know what I'm saying? That, that, that fucks you up. That fucks you up, too. That, that's fucked me up, but... Yo, I was supposed to say, you making me hungry, man. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, I. Let me slow down for a little bit. Let me slow down for a little bit. 
Because at the end of the day, you need to chill. So I, I grabbed myself. I, I kind of like had to, I, I hated that. I had to like say I can't, I can't come through. And it, now it has been two days. You know what I'm saying? And then yesterday, yesterday being the third day, um, shit calm. I wake up. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm feeling better. I'm taking mad tea and soup. I still haven't gone to the spittle. Nothing like that. I think I'm getting better. Um, and I happen to call for blood. Oh. Ooh. I call for blood for some fucking reason. Ooh. I just, I, my, I just call for blood. So now I'm like, damn. Like, I really don't want to go to the hospital. But I should go to the hospital. Like, if anything is pointing me to go to the spittle, this is the time to go. Like, now, all right, you got to go. So I call for blood. And, 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 and I'm like. Damn, and like it hurts. Like I'm. Yeah, no, there, there's certain shit where yeah, it does cross the line of I gotta call my my parents. Coughing off blood, is crazy work. Um, having some sort of pain in an area that you don't usually have pain for more than 24 hours. I wouldn't even say 24 because I ain't gonna lie. I, I try to push it with the 20. 48 hours is like, yo, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, nah, uh-uh, uh-uh, Bl just blood coming out of shit where blood shouldn't come out of is, is, is a red flag. Outside of nosebleeds, and for women, obviously, you know, you cycle, but nah, bro, nosebleeds, I, I, I thought I, I thought I had like a high blood pressure problem with the amount of nosebleeds I was getting at, at a point in time. I ain't gonna lie, Chad. I gotta check out. It was literally just cause my my nose was dry as shit, bro. All I needed to do was spam that shit with saline spray for a couple weeks and I was good. But yeah, nosebleeds. It, it it depends on your situation too with the nosebleeds. If you're passing out cause of the nosebleeds, that's a whole different story. But the the dry nose. You know what I'm saying? You just picking your nose too much type of nosebleed. I think you're chilling. I think you're chilling. But even that, I, I still have to go to the doctor at some point for that. Short of breath. The pain never really left past a five. It's still five out of ten the whole time. You know what I'm saying? And I go to the um, I go to the spittle, bro. Fuck it. I go to the hospital. Fuck. Sp spittle. Spittle is crazy verbiage. I've never I've never heard that. Up until I don't want to go to the hospital. And I got my reasons for it. And I'm gonna keep it nice and short. But I got a lot of you know homies, friends that passed away. And also people I know go to the hospital they never leave it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Put two and two together. So I just be having my own superstitions. You know what I'm saying? I believe in science to the max. Shout out to all the beautiful doctors out there in the world. I just be panicking about hospitals, bro. So whatever. So I go to the hospital. I say fuck it. I'm going to the hospital. I go to the hospital. And when I get to the hospital, um, they um. They do scans, they do CT scans, they do some other shit too. They do, they do a whole bunch of shit. You know what I'm saying? W Hospital, W Doctors, um, and they fucking, they um, they had me. I was in for like not too long, probably like five hours, chat. And at the end, they finally like tell me what it was. Somewhat, they didn't know what the pain, the original pain is from, like the original one, the forty minute one. Mm -hmm. But it's better than what the fuck I thought I had. So at the end of the day, chat. Um, I gotta take some pills for like seven days. Um, antibiotics, niggas is good. You know what I'm saying? Just clap it up for that. You know what I'm saying? Everything's itchy. Um, but um, basically, what I have is I have pneumonia. That's what I got, and I forgot how I got it. But something about the acid going up in, in my thingy went through my lungs and cooked me. You feel me? And it, it's the I got. You know what I'm saying? I got to chill, chat. But besides that, chat, we here. We good money. You know what I'm saying? Pneumonia, yeah, yeah, I know, I know it's heavy, but I should be fine. It's just seven days of popping these uh pills, and I and I should be good, chat. And I and I, you know what I'm saying? And I, and I realized that doing all that shit, you know what I'm saying? I gotta just <sighs> health is really wealth, bro. And it's like world of my mother, bro. It's like you can't you can't play with certain shit, bro. You dead ass can't play with certain. You can't shortcut shit. You gotta just you know what I'm saying? So. We're gonna slow it down from now on in certain avenues. And all that mean is I'm going to the gym soon. So W stream on the way with the gyms. Uh let's clap it up for that. And let me they haven't confirmed um the C That's good though. I ain't gonna lie, that's that's good that he's doing well. It's just Bro, being a content creator has horrible work life balance, bro. And especially at the level that we're doing it, especially at the level Phantom's doing it, where he has to go back and forth between Atlanta and New York six days straight. 
Got to fly out to LA for a six figure bag. A six figure bag, bro. A whole year's worth of good salary for a majority of America. Bro, that work life balance is crazy. And especially with how the internet is, especially again with the things that they're doing, bro, it's, it's so easy to get lost in the sauce, to just worry about getting to the bag. You know what I'm saying? Worry about views, worry about showing up to work. You know what I'm saying? Worry about maintaining the life that, the, that you got. That you know, you you forget about going to the gym. You know what I'm saying? It's it's easy to just DoorDash and uh you know get get a quick meal, not not get good uh home cooked meals that are healthy for you, and things of that nature. Um, and as a, a, again a, a fellow member of the Big Back community, I sympathize with everything he's talking about, specifically as a creator too, bro. It's like. Again, it's it's you know what you need to do. It's just their their habits for a reason. Their habits for a reason. And for motherfuckers like Phantom, motherfuckers like me, bro, you're you're talking about trying to change someone's habits that they've had for 10, 20 years, bro. 10, 10, 20 years plus. In um in a short matter of time, it, it's hard to just flip a switch and go cold turkey when it comes to eating habits too. It's eating habits, you know. So I don't know, bro. It's tough. It's tough out here. But shout out, shout out to Phantom man. Shout out to Phantom. Eat the scans that they did, by the way, just to give you an update. I haven't got the update yet from them. They said they would call me, so you know what I'm saying. So I don't have the you know what I'm saying. But once again, chat. Um. Jump, jump stream on the way, but we not about to do some shit, like, we not doing this gym stream for content, like, it's not a con, like, we really gonna be on our shit, though, like, if I needed a sign, that's what it was right there, if I needed any sign, that's what it was right there, chat. Low key, though, low key, if making gym content would make you consistent in going to the gym... If, you, if your motivation to do a lot of the things that you're doing right now is, ah, I gotta make content. I, I don't I don't think that's the worst idea to make. Gym streams a regular thing, though, in my opinion. Um, now, it, it is probably gonna get to a point where, like, motherfuckers are gonna get bored of that shit. Um, but that's not, that's, not, that's not the worst thing. How long have I been fat? I was a pretty big baby as a kid, uh, especially relative to Filipinos. Um, I, don't, I don't know the exact weight. But I was a pretty fat kid when I was, like, a toddler. You know what I'm saying? Uh, not even that. I, I think up until third, fourth grade, I was, bro. I, I, I legitimately looked like Russell from Up. And then I lost a shit ton of weight probably from ages 11 to... Senior year of high school, but even senior year of high school, I can't lie, I still felt like I was fat. Maybe look looking back, that was probably some body dysmorphia type shit where I felt like I was fat when I actually wasn't looking back. Um, but yeah, from eleven to eighteen, I, I was at a pretty healthy weight, and I ain't gonna lie, yeah, we we did this activity on stream, bro. Look back at where where it went wrong for me. COVID did damage, man. I can't lie. COVID COVID did its thing. COVID did his thing. Because before that, bro, I, I I was already, like, a, a pretty sedentary-ass dude that didn't go to the gym. Um, but COVID, specifically making everything remote, it took out the daily, you know what I'm saying, daily walk to the car, drive to the campus uh, for 15, 18 minutes, Mind you, URI2 is built built on a hill. So every time I'm walking to class, I got to walk up a pretty steep-ass hill. Not not steep-ass. So, uh, you know, walk up a hill. Got to go to this class in 20 minutes. Got to go to that class in 30 minutes. You know, I'm walking all over the place. Walk back to the car. Drive back home. Get some sunshine. Like, that, that shit has just been taken out. I can't lie. Um... When everything went fully remote, we were decentivized to go outside because everyone was scared of what the fuck was going on. You know what I'm saying? And me being the introvert that I am, I was like, 
Y'all talking about to stay in my room? This is my bag. Like, this, 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 this is my bag for real. And yeah, it, it was my bag for real. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, nah, COVID cooked me, bro. Co Co COVID cooked me. I'm, I'm still trying to break break some demons in these uh, in this in these uh last couple of years, bro. I don't know. Yeah, I'm telling you, like, no funny shit, bro. I don't need to pop no fucking Ozempic pills. Fuck out of here. I just need to do. Go to the gym, eat good. Also, co the combination of COVID and college, too. I can't lie. I can't lie. Because, bro, going going to college where, you know, I, I wasn't just eating, hey, mom, what we having for lunch type meals. You know what I'm saying? Hey, mom, what's for dinner tonight type meals. You know? Also, in high school, I got to get up at 7. Honestly, I didn't eat breakfast in high school. You know, I had to get up at 6.45. I just went straight to... Straight, straight to straight to class. I waited till lunch to eat my first meal of the day, and then boom, right. But in college, that unlimited meal plan every single day, you get to go into a fucking food cafeteria and get however much food you need. Boy, that was dangerous. And I was also at a campus two chat that had. What was the app called? It wasn't DoorDash, but it was like a, a, a college campus version of DoorDash, bro. Boy, again, now mind you, I was already making decent YouTube money at this time, bro. Combined with the fact that I started drinking and combined with the fact that at this point in time, I was smoking weed. Boy, the munchies, them cross munchies. Oh, I was getting, <laughs> I was getting cooked by Davos Calzones. Yeah, I forgot, I forgot about college too. It, it was the combination of college freedom and COVID that cooked me, man. God, Davos Calzones, uh, what you call it? Tilly's cheesesteaks, boy, I was getting cooked, bro. Yeah, I was in fat heaven, bro. <laughs> yeah. bro. Mind you, there were multiple calzone spots too. There was there was a Chinese spot. You know what I'm saying, bro? I was getting. Legitimately baked by the influences of college, but I will say this: I still don't regret it, man. It was a, it was a, it was a growing experience, and I'm definitely going through the growing pains right now. Though. Like, but yeah, shout out to Phantom, though. Long story short, uh, I don't think I need to hear the, the the end of this video. Shout out to Phantom. Uh, take care of your fucking health. Uh, work on your, you know, obviously I can't tell you what to do, but you know, work work on your um work life balance. Cause it does seem like from the stories that you're telling, like it is 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 leaning ninety ten. It's leaning ninety ten right now. If you can get that shit to sixty five thirty five, you know seventy thirty even. Like I, I think I think you know 